Greetings Ventures, it's Lorne Gaming, and I am so, so very happy to proudly announce that we are indeed getting the Kino's Journey and Dot Memo collaboration event. Now before I get into more details about what's been announced during Japanese livestream for the Kino's Journey event that will be happening later this week, I'd like to thank Alba Suzukaze on the unofficial Dot Memo Discord for translating all this stuff from the Japanese livestream. It's a real big help to uh, people that don't speak Japanese, like me. It would have been pretty difficult to... Uh, decipher what was going on during the live stream with my limited knowledge of Japanese that's only been gained through watching anime. So according to the Japanese live stream, the Kino's Journey event will be live on April 27th, 11 a.m. Japan time, and that roughly translates to uh, April 26th, which meaning Thursday at 7 p.m. PST. So watch out for that. That might not be the exact time for us, but that's the same exact time that Japan will be getting it. Alright, and I'm just going to give you guys a brief overview of everything that's been announced for the collaboration event during the last live stream. I'll give a more detailed explanation about everything where the event is actually up for us, and that way we'll have nice English graphics and everything. As I mentioned before in a previous video, the event story is actually written as a joint project between the writer Don Machi Fujino Omori and the writer Kino's Journey, Keiichi Sigasawa. And I'm very much looking forward to how they have their characters interact, how Kino reacts to the world of Orario, and how Belle and the other characters react to uh, the Kino's Journey characters. I think it should be very interesting to see when we play through it in-game. Alright, and let's start talking about the characters that you can earn during the event and the event banners. Uh, this first one here is the 3-star Kino that you can actually earn during the event, much like uh, you can earn Naza during the previous Dragon Devotion event, and how you could get the 3-star Filvis during the main ads event uh, when the game launched for us in uh, Global. And very similar to the past two events with Naza and Philvis, we'll be able to earn up to five bonds for the three-star Kino during the event. And uh, this Kino is a physical type character. I don't want to go into too much detail about all the skills for these new characters until we get uh, the official English translations for them. Alright, now let's get into the gacha banner characters that you can roll on during the event. This first one is the four-star Kino with Hermes. She is a physical type adventure with good single target and multi target attacks that can debuff strength, magic, or seal. And the next unit is the 4 star Shizu with Riku the dog. He is a physical type adventure, and it seems that his skill set is more focused on single target attacks. And this is the 4 star Photo and So. They are a healer type adventure. And this is the 4 star Hermes with Hermes the bike. They are a balance type adventure, and they seem to have a focus on stunning the enemy. And now we're getting into the two new assist characters. This one is the 4 star T. She's a strength focused assist with a strength and crit rate assist skill. And for the last character on the banner, we have the 4 star Hestia, who is an endurance focused assist character with a physical resistance and guard rate buff for her assist skill. Now having two new 4 star assist characters on these banners makes me personally very very happy because I don't know about you guys, but the only 4 star assist that I have was the guaranteed launch made Hestia and the 4 star Freya on the Sprouting Devotion banner. So this makes me extremely happy because I am I am needing some new assist characters very very much. And all the new characters that are being introduced to this event will have their own CP levels that we can work with, which means more opportunity for rank up rewards like Hero Fauna and Iris when we increase our CP level with them with Belle, Eyes, and Lafia. And right here you can see that there's going to be a new exclusive CP gift item uh, for the new Kino characters. It will give 200 CP to the new Kino characters and then 5 CP to all the other ones, so make sure you don't waste them and to only use them on the new Kino's Journey characters that are being introduced into the game. And one cute thing they showed during the live stream is this graphic right here. It shows the new characters traversing through the quest, and normally your characters are like running through the dungeon, and in this case, since some of the new characters have bikes, they're riding their bikes through the dungeon, and you can see Riku the dog walk through the dungeon as well, and I think it's very, very cute. Uh, it's cool that uh, we got these new animations for them. And also during the live stream, they revealed that the characters will be getting their own special character weapons and their crafting materials will drop during the event quest. And this is actually pretty cool because this means as soon as we get our banner characters, they'll get a pretty uh, decent power boost if we can craft our character weapon for them. And they also announced a new type of event quest during the live stream. It's called a hero trial. Now this is something that's happened in Japan before, but this is our first time getting a hero trial in the global version of the game. Basically you get a farmable quest and you get a currency to eventually buy a character bond to limit break a character. 
Now, there's going to be two types of hero trials during this event. There'll be a hero trial for the adventure type characters in the Kino's Journey banner, and then another hero trial for the assist type characters in the Kino's Journey banner. And you'll only be able to get one bond each for those, but this is very, very nice because that way we won't have to play the gotcha as much to limit break our characters. We actually get to choose which bond we want, so if we're aiming to get a certain character to limit break, uh, this is super, super useful uh, to do. And with the hero trials, the hero trial for the adventure type characters will happen at the start of the event, and midway through it they'll start the hero trial for the assist type characters on the Kino's Journey banner. And as I previously mentioned on my first video about the collaboration event, upon our first login during the event we will get a 4 star gacha ticket that will guarantee getting us one of the 6 new gacha banner characters for Kino's Journey, and they actually announced on our 14th login during the event, we will get another 4-star gacha ticket that will give us one of the new characters. So that's very exciting. I'm glad we're getting all this free stuff. It's uh, really healthy for my wallet. I can say that much at least. And with the hero trial bonds, it's going to really, really help us get some characters to uh, those higher limit breaks like plus 3, plus 4, plus 5. It's really going to help us out a lot and that's, that's going to help us push uh, the harder content in the game. But yeah, guys, I'm super excited for this event to start. I think it's going to be a lot of fun watching the two worlds of Kinoa's Journey and uh, Don Machi collide. It's going to be very interesting to see what the two writers have come up with us for the event story. And I did very much enjoy watching Kinoa's Journey as it was airing uh, back last fall. It's a very enjoyable episodic series with some very unique characters, Kino especially. If you're interested in watching this before the event happens or if the event piques your interest, you can watch Kinoa's Journey on Crunchyroll. One series in particular I'd like to see collaboration for, but it's probably not going to happen. It's probably just reaching out there. But if any of you have seen uh, Grimgar, Fantasy, and Ash, it's a light novel series that had an anime. Uh, it was like a few years ago. I'm getting old. But it was a few years ago, and it's also set in a fantasy-type world. And it's, it kind of has video game mechanics, but it's not really a game. So it's similar to Don Machi in that way. But I think that would be a super cool collaboration. But we'll just have to see what happens in the future, guys. And again, I'll have more detailed explanations about the event itself when it is actually out and we have access to uh, official English graphics for the characters and all the items in the game. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I actually hit uh, 500 subscribers uh, earlier this week. I'm super excited about that. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. I do love making these Damemo videos. Damachi is one of my favorite light novel series. It probably is my favorite at this point. I get super excited for any new light novel that comes out, like main series or Sword Oratoria. Super excited for Volume 11 to come out, it needs to come out now. I know it got delayed, and it's probably for like quality assurance reasons, but I can't wait to read Volume 11 of Don Machi. It's killing me. The wait is killing me, guys. But anyway, if you found this video helpful or informative, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more content. If you want to stay updated on what I'm doing, follow me on Twitter, you can also join my Discord. If you have any questions about the game, just want to talk about it in general. Continue enjoying your time adventuring in Arario and the dungeon. This is Lauren Gaming, and I'm signing out.